Hola muchachos, welcome back to my channel. I'm drinking a lemon carrot, carrot, ginger juice. I feel like everyone around me is getting sick and I'm over here like ordering hazmat suits off of Amazon and I'm like, don't touch me. <laughs> Cause I really don't want to get sick. But I also find that when I'm pregnant, I don't get sick. Once in a while, maybe I'll get like a bit of a stuffy nose. But so far, every single time I'm pregnant, I'm literally never sick. So here's hoping this goes strong for this pregnancy. Mm. Woo! as gingery. But anyway guys, I wanted to share with you my bathroom. To be honest, I'm someone that's never actually cared about my bathroom, the way it looks, but I do care about its cleanliness. But when it comes to just like the overall look of a bathroom, I never gave much thought to it until recently. I realized that when I go over to people's houses, I actually really appreciate the look of their bathroom and something about going to the bathroom, it's nice being in a pleasing looking space, you know? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some of the bathroom decor and organizational stuff that I did in my bathroom. I want to keep everything very affordable and I want to keep everything very functional. I want to keep everything white and bright in order to make it look a lot bigger. I kind of did some of the decor over a few days which is why you may see me in different outfits or whatever in the clips but then afterwards when I was all done the next day I decided to do a really good clean. Do you put a lot of love and decor and stuff in your bathroom or is that just kind of the throwaway place <laughs> because for me for a long time it was a throwaway place and now it's just at a point where I really really like it but also I did want to say I don't have decor through the bathroom like I'm not someone that puts in candles or plants or bowls filled with bath bombs because for me it doesn't work in my bathroom because it's a small space and also because it's a laundry room as well it gets really dusty if I can stay as minimal as possible with the things in my bathroom it's really really great I hope you guys like this video and and if you do, subscribe to my channel if you're new here and hit the notification bell and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So one of the first things I really wanted to tackle when it came to bathroom decor was the shower curtain. We've had this for about three or four years now. It's a world map in watercolor. I really like the colors and I think it's really pretty. But over time it has oranged and it's starting to kind of rust out a bit. And I really want to change it out because I couldn't clean it properly. So I'm going to clean it as best I can and just take it to a fabric recycler and replace it. So this is the shower curtain that I got. It's like a blue kind of pinstripe and it has some really nice just kind of cable edges on it. I think it's really pretty. I like the color of it and I am totally into wearing this as a dress if I no longer want it as a shower curtain because I like the pattern that much. The fabric blend is also easier to clean. Kieran thinks it looks like a tablecloth and I kind of agree, um, but that may be why I like it so much. Um, anyway, so I'm bringing in a couple other pieces that I'll be putting into the bathroom. And we're gonna start focusing on this one wall that has some wire shelves that we got from the Home Depot. We have towels on here, bath toys on here, other storage, laundry basket, etc., etc. And I wanted to do something that was all white because it just looks a lot cleaner. And there's a couple other reasons why I want to change this out. So I'm gonna start taking everything off of the shelves as well as get up and clean the top of the walls. I find in a bathroom, especially because of showering and the steam the top of the walls can get really yucky so I do like to wipe them down every month or so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and organize these bins. These blue bins I'm actually gonna repurpose in our shed for further organization there. And I got these white ones just from the dollar store, so obviously really affordable. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the shelves on the wall. These are really easy to adjust. And I'm doing it so I can fit the hangers up on the upper shelf because our bathroom also doubles as a laundry room. So I keep all of our laundry stuff in there as well. We bought some new white bath sheets because they'll be easier to clean and my midwife said take my old towels and put them towards my home delivery kit 
yes that's going down <laughs> so I'll be making a video about that soon in a little bit so I got some white bath sheets they're nice and big I put the laundry basket up there as well as put the hangers up higher I'm gonna flip the laundry basket around it fits pretty good right there I got my laundry basket from HomeSense I'm gonna start putting the bins into sequence and I think this looks pretty good Now because our bathroom doubles as a laundry room, I want to get some laundry hampers in here. So I have one for whites and one for lights and darks. These are from HomeSense. They're just nice wire, ethically made laundry hampers and I can always repurpose them if I want a new laundry hamper for toys or just multi-purpose bins. Also wanted to get a new garbage can. We had to store our garbage can on top of the toilet because our son Calvin, who's crawling, would get into it. So I got a garbage can with a lid. And this is my happy dance because I am so excited to finally have this. And the last thing I wanted to do was get a new mirror. So we have this one from Ikea and I've literally had it for probably close to a decade. But we wanted to get a mirror that was actually suitable to the bathroom. So Kieran installed it. It's way bigger. It looks way cleaner. And it makes the whole bathroom look a lot larger than it is. Loud. To get started on cleaning the bathroom, I'm going to grab my cleaning supplies. I just keep them stored under my sink. I keep my under sink storage very minimal and I like to keep all my cleaning supplies in one bin. All my cleaning supplies mean my gloves, my rags, my scrubbers. If I have them placed throughout the house, <laughs> it's not going to work out very well for me. So my favorite cleaner, which I use for everything, is Boulder Clean's All Natural Purpose Cleaner. I literally use this for everything. And I'm gonna head into the bathroom and start cleaning the shower. This always takes the longest for me, and this is something I'm really intense about having completely clean so I'm going to take out obviously all the bottles and shampoo and pull the shower curtain out and I'm going to grab my rubber gloves these are fair trade rubber gloves if you're buying super cheap rubber gloves they're probably made by slaves it's actually really sad so I like to buy fair trade rubber gloves and grab all my scrubbers I have different gloves for different parts of the bathroom that I clean as well as scrubbers so these gloves and scrubbers I use for the vanity as well as the shower and I have something separate for doing the toilet I have this great hose that I got a long long time ago you're actually supposed to use it for rinsing off your cloth diapers but I use it as well for cleaning so I just put it with hot, hot water, spray it all over the shower, and then I take my boulder clean and I spray down my entire shower with the boulder clean. They are not sponsoring this video, but boulder clean, like, get on it, people. I purchase your products all the time and I'm completely ready for you to sponsor a cleaning video. Boulder Clean is just my favorite when it comes to natural cleaners. I find it does the best job. I use it for cleaning my dishes. I use it for cleaning my clothes. It's my favorite. So now I'm just scrubbing down the entire shower wall and I'm really taking my time getting into all the grooves. I want to feel nothing. If I put my hand over an area, I want to feel that there is no grime and there's no sort of friction holding my glove or hand back. So I'm going to scrub the wall first and then I work my way down into the tub There's some spots that you can't properly see me but know that I'm scrubbing out this tub because I also have kiddos that have baths and I want to make sure that they're bathing and being cleaned in like a good solidly cleaned bathtub I'm gonna go over it again with hot water and rinse everything really well it's super satisfying seeing all the dark dirty water fall down and go into the drain. I absolutely love it. As you can see here, I'm putting everything back. Sometimes I'll even wash the bottles if I feel like there's a little bit of grime on them. But this time around, I thought they were fine, so I just put them back where they came from. Also, I'm going to polish the steel in my bathroom. I just use a microfiber cloth once it's all properly cleaned, 
and I really take my time and I polish this as much as possible so I don't get any of the water drops or water stains. You can also use lemon if you need further cleaning or like a vinegar baking soda mix but for me this is what I just need to properly touch it up. And now I'm going to get cleaning the toilet so I've changed my gloves and my little scrubber and I like using the boulder clean again and I like to do it all by hand. I know some people like using a toilet brush but I find that I get a better clean um, and it's a lot easier just for me to concentrate <laughs> uh, cleaning certain spots if I go in by hand. So I wash down the entire thing and then I dry it all. I like having a really clean toilet, no lint or dust or, you know, just yucky stuff. And while I'm here, I go around on the sides of the toilet as well. And while I'm on the ground, I didn't show this because I didn't even think about it. But while I'm on the ground, I also just go ahead and wipe down all the floors. <laughs> Changing my gloves and removing on to the vanity. I want to really clean this vanity. I feel like because Ivy is washing her hands and brushing her teeth here as well as me and Kieran and washing our faces and shaving and doing all this stuff here, it gets really gross really fast. So this is something I'll even do every couple of days if I feel like it's needed. Um, and I don't need to clean like the shower as well, but just to keep this area nice and clean is really important to me So I go ahead and properly clean not just the vanity but the wall as well because we have paneling which can carry a lot of dust and I wipe it all down with a dry cloth as well as a microfiber cloth Again, I just kind of like polishing certain spots of my bathroom to reduce any watermarks. And I have my essential oil diffuser, which has grapefruit and orange in it. And it makes my bathroom smell so, so good. I replace the hand towel. And the last step, I take my boulder clean. This is the same cleaner. It's super multi-purpose. And I wipe down the mirror to make everything look awesome. <laughs> thank you all for watching this video I hope you found it satisfying I always find it satisfying when people are like changing things up and organizing and cleaning I'm like <sighs> it's almost like I did it myself <laughs> so anyways I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video bye don't get sick <laughs>